Okay, so in this video, we are going to look at how we can actually handle the duplicate values. I have already created the data set here. Uh, so first I created the dictionary and after that I created a data frame out of it. So that's how essentially our um, data set looks like. We have, you know, duplicate classes, but the IDs are kind of unique here. So let's see how we can actually uh, drop the duplicate rows. So if we specify uh, drop duplicates method here and put the argument so let's subset it on the class we can specify the keep argument here so it essentially takes the three values first last and false so let's see how the false actually works first also we can specify the in place argument as well by default it is false if you want you can set it as true so here I'm just going to specify it as false and uh, so this changes essentially will not take place in the data set. Uh, it will be just for this execution statement. So as you can see, if it is false, then all the duplicate rows have been dropped off where the class was GX3. So now let me just copy paste the line here and uh, specify the argument as first. So it will retain the first uh, duplicate value. So that's our uh, where the index is three, right? So only that row where the class was T has been retained. So the first copy of the duplicate has been retained. Now, let me just copy paste the line again. And if I specify keep as last, so only the last row of the uh, duplicate row will be retained. So here, the, where the index is four, right? So that row has been retained where the class is actually D. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.